Hello, can you say hello? No. No? Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Knitting Expat Podcast channel. My name is Nina and I'm here today with my daughter Layla. Oh no, no. Yeah, we're going to show the yarn in a second. And we're going to do a little haul video today. We're going to show you everything that I picked up at Fiber East this weekend. Yeah? High five. Boom. Did you enjoy it? Did you have fun at Fiber East? Yes. Did you like seeing mummy's friends? Yeah. Did you have fun? What, what was your favourite bit? The fun mummy. Oh, you had fun with mum and Yeah. Oh, uh, mum and is my my mum, so she say she had fun with her. Yay! Yeah! Should we start with the yarn or with the fibre? Yarn or fibre? No. Yarn? Fibre. You want to start with the fibre? Okay. So we'll start with the fibre. There's actually more fibre than yarn, so probably not the worst way around to do it. So actually the first thing I have here is the last thing I got, which is a bag of um a bag, <laughs> a bag of Angora fibre. You wanna try it? You wanna feel it? So this was the chocolate colour, apparently. It's good for spinning, it's got slightly longer staples than some of the other fibre. And it was it's 59 grams. And it's so soft. Is it soft? Oh, it's so yeah, you're showing it to the camera. Well done. Is it? Can you tell mummy if you think it's soft? It's soft like a cloud. Oh. You're trying to clean it off. What do you think? Is it soft? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway, so it's 59 grams in here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try and spin it like just plain angora fibre. I'll probably end up blending it with something else on the blending board and um, making something with it that way. But it was just really lovely let, and soft. Let, let's show colour. Go on, you show the camera. Well done. Thank you, honey. Then oh, this is in no particular order, by the way. So oh, this is the way it happened in the bag. Oh, okay. This is fibre. Oh, no, mommy. We'll put it in. It's okay, you can take them out. Can you take it out? So next up we have the fibre that I picked up from Cat and Sparrow. And they also sell yarn, but I picked up fibre from them. And so I picked up this braid, it's one of their custom blended braids of fibre. Um, it, this is in the dark Sansa colourway. They look, I want to put that. Mummy, look, put that. What's wrong? All blue. There's blue there. No, it's okay. all in the blue. You don't want the blue? It's okay, so it's more like purple. It's a purple colour. And then this one is really interesting, if Layla will give it back to me. So the, so the Dark Sansa is a blend of 50% Shetland, 33% Corridor, no, and 70% no, Mulberry Silk. Okay, can you show it to the camera? So this is a Shetland Corridor Silk blend. It was, it's really lovely and I love the colours on this one. It's just as beautiful as it looks on, um, on screen when I was looking at their website. Mine. Yeah! What colours are in this one? Red. There's red. What other colours? Blue. Yeah, what else? That. What colour is that one? Yellow. Uh, there is yellow, but the one you're pointing to is green. Green. Yeah, okay. Can I have a look at that one? Why? Can you, look, can you put this one in the bag? Can you put this one in the bag while Mummy looks at that one? No. Negotiations with the two year old. Okay, well this one's mummy's, mummy's going to put that there. Do you want to look at more so mummy can look at that one? Should I give you something else to look at? Do you want to look at this one? Oh, look at that. This one? Oh, this. You want that one? Okay. Oh, no, wait, that one. Can you look at that one? So this one from Cat and Sparrow is another custom blended fibre, but this one's quite interesting. It's actually two um, 50 gram tops twisted together. So the red one, the predominantly red section of the fibre is the lava lamp colour. This is a blend of Corridale, Merino, Blue Face, Lester and Bamboo. And then the green, blue 
um, forever called is called, yeah you got the red one, it's called Eliza Doolittle and it's Coridale Merino and Tussle Silk. So the idea with this is that you spin each half on one bobbin and then you ply them together and apparently it works beautifully together like that. So I'm really excited to give that one a go and I might even try and do it for sock yarn because it's a good blend with bamboo and silk in it that will hold up quite well for socks. Okay, so next up I guess we're doing the John Arbin bundle. I, I did pick up quite a bit from John Arbin. I want to show it. Yeah, you want to show it to the camera? Yeah. So what colour is that one? That one's the red, that's the pomegranate colourway. So can you hold that up to the camera? So this is from the Harvest Hues collection. It's the pomegranate. And I also got from the Harvest Hues, I got bramble, which is a lovely purple. And the Harvest Hues is a blend of, I think, merino something else and oh, some swaplers or it might just be merino and swaplers so that's the purple it's the bramble oh the purple no 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 the purple they look getting gentle take this one first this one's the pomegranate okay. and then this one is called russet which looks really beautiful in the yarn form so i'm really excited to blend the spin the fiber oh okay thank you And then this was one of their specials at the show this year. This was, I think it was called something Indigo. I can't remember the name now, but this is one of their new lines of yarn. This is like TV blue. I got 100 grams of each. And then I also got, there was another, from the same line as this teal one, is this beautiful oh purpley oh maroon colour, like plummy purple. You want to share that one? Okay. Mommy. And I can't remember what the blends of these ones are. I'll have to look on their website later. And then finally, I picked up this one, which again, I had looked at it online. I think it, something to do with gold. I, can, I cannot remember the name of this one either. Like I said, I'll have to look these all up online. I know what they are when I see them online, but I can't remember um, the names right now. So I picked up, was it six? Yeah, six clumps of fibre from John Arbin. And very good value their fiber is incredibly good value very well prepped like i absolutely love spinning tops from john arbin it's just so beautifully blended and um so lovely to spin yeah you're gonna put that on the pile or are you gonna hold on to that one i want that thing that. you want to hold this one as well i'll fit that are you done yeah we're done I'll, with these ones put I'll them over here Ooh. Is that pretty you want me to show it to the camera? Yes. So I picked up this braid from Easy Knitter, Easy Knits, sorry, Easy Knits, and um, this is just called Fluff. It's the Polworth base, and it's in the golden colourway. I absolutely love spinning Polworth, so when I saw that they had a Polworth base, I had to pick some fibre up. And it, yeah, it's absolutely delicious and squishy. Can you feel how soft that is? No. You need to yourself. No. Anyway. So I really like this one and I grabbed that. Oh, I will be honest, most outside. of my purchases this time was fibre. We're gonna go outside after we finished. Most of my purchases this time were fibre, mainly because Tour de Fleece has just ended and oh, I've, made a serious, I've made a serious dent in my fibre stash. So I was replenishing. Yeah, oh thank you. And I picked up this braid from Dye Candy. Lovely Hutch was really, yes. was really lovely to chat with her. Sorry. Yeah. And also I picked this one up because it's a very interesting blend. Not only do I like- Nine. Yeah, not only do I like gradients, you but it's a very interesting blend. Yeah, it's forty percent superwash BFL. You said we said we said. Twenty percent Rambouillet, twenty percent Tussle Silk, and twenty percent milk protein. Yeah, what colour is it? Blue. Blue. Well done. Do you like it? Oh, I like red. You like red? Yeah. Is red your favourite colour? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, did you pick this one out? When we were there, you picked this one, didn't you? Oh. Are you trying to wind it? Okay, don't, don't, let's not mess it up now. Um, and then, oh, I went to the Barn to Yarn booth as well. And I like her, I really love her fibres as well. They're really, really fun to spin. Some of the earlier fibres I practiced with. And I picked up a bat from her. Didn't have a particular colour name. No, it is. Yeah. It is mine. Yeah. Sorry. It's got lots of colours in it. Is so it's got a neutral a, base. I said we say, 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 we say,
the biscuit. Yeah? This is the besides the basic Okay. It's got a white neutral base, natural base, and it's got all these like specks of be what I think is like some sorry like, silk, sorry and, silk sorry and some locks in there sorry. as well. So this will be really fun to spend some, some like nice um, chunky eye on. Another one that Michael. I purchased fiber, pur purchase fiber from in the early days when I first started spinning. I really enjoy her, her fibers and blends. And so this one, can you show it to the camera? No? Okay, no, we'll do it. So this one is a superwash merino nylon, um, 100 grams. And uh, I don't know what the color is. There's no colorway name on it, but um, beautiful like reds and oranges sort of like reminds you of fire, this one. And so I think this is going to be socks since it's superwash merino and nylon. I think that would lend itself well for socks. I also picked up this braid. It's similar colours actually. Let's see. Yeah, and this was a merino tencel in the raincoat. Whoa. Raincoat colourway. So it's wow, again. Wow. Yeah, it is red. Wow. 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 You like this one? Yes. You want to hold it? No. No? What? Oh, oh, did that. Is that one your favourite? <laughs> She's absolutely in love with this John Arbin fibre. I don't blame her, it's really lovely. Oh, no. um, but this was one I'd seen on a uh, shop online that I really liked, oh, so when I saw it there, I was like, I have to grab that. Oh, yeah, you like the fibre? Yes. And I also, she had some of these as a show special, my, these little I get it. mixed fibre rollers. I get it. Yeah? I get it. Yeah, did you get that one? Yes. Okay. Can you show it to the camera? Yeah, so there's some mixed fiber row lags in sort of like purples and blues oh, sort of colour. Is it a hat? Yeah. Oh, good job balancing it on your head. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's about 45, 50 grams in that book bundle. one that mummy has and then I also had to go past the Spin City UK booth because she also has some amazing fibers that I absolutely love and so I couldn't resist I saw these and not my typical colors I mean they are my colors but they're far more pastel than I usually go for but I saw these braids and I was just like I absolutely just fell in love with it like I said definitely not my typical so like color scheme the purples and the blues and greens are like this end is very much me this end is more pastel than i normally go for what's that what's that Bats. it's called an art bat art bat art bat, art bat. yes um and so then I, she had two she had actually a few there but i picked up two and i thought it'd be really nice to spin these as a gradient the two ply gradient together so spin one and then one and then blend them, uh, uh, them together uh, or potentially even doing a fractal because uh, I think these will look really uh, lovely as a fractal. Uh, 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 What's wrong? Uh, 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 so these are the Merino Tencel blend. They don't have a colourway name but it's just Merino Tencel and it's absolutely beautiful. I really love these. And also I got a one of her art bats, and this is just Louise was telling me from Spin City. This is one of her like original original colours that she used to make. And this is in the bon this is the bonfire art bat. Yeah, it looks like a fire, doesn't it? Does it look like fire? Sorry if you can hear background noise. We have scaffolders outside still putting up scaffolding, so that might be you might be hearing that. And we're not going to open it right now, honey. So what I might do at the end is I might do a little close-ups of everything so you can see everything a little bit more clearly. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it now, but... Yeah. 
<laughs> so this is actually the very first thing we got. We went in and uh, we, we bumped into Almas from Witchcrafty Lady and Layla immediately grabbed his Mom, this, Layla, like bright Layla, Yeah. Bright red Daddy, pink colour. Yeah. Daddy met this. Yeah, the lady made this. Almas made that for Layla. Did Layla get that as a present? Yes. Yeah, Almas was really lovely and she gave Layla a present. She gave me that fibre. This was dyed by Almas from Witchcrafty Lady and it was a very generous gift for Layla. So thank you so much, Almas. Layla loves it. And then, of course, I had to purchase a bundle of stuff from Almas as well. She has some beautiful fibres. Can you stop doing that, please? Can you not do that? Mummy's got a lot of stuff in here for you to show to the camera. Can you give that to Mummy? Good girl. Thank you, honey. Okay, gentle, gentle. So this is a light grey. I have two of these bumps. So, two, so I bought two 100 gram bumps of this white. fiber in this kind of like really pale grey colour. And this is a Perindale, like Falkland Perindale and silk blend. White, white, white. Yeah, it's light grey. It's not quite white. It's light grey. Can you say light grey? Light grey. Light grey, good job. Okay. And then I also got some of this, which is just 100% Falkland and Perindale. I got four of these in the colours. I got the grey, I got like this lavender, dark lavender purple. It's like forest green. And this like chartreuse yellow green. I thought these all went really well together. What I'm thinking of doing with these is spinning them up to be like a decay-ish weight and maybe doing like a sweater with them, like a crop sweater. I'm not sure, but I think it'll be quite fun. I'm not sure what's going on with her. Can we stop that now? Oh, and finally, Amos is really kind and gave me this little bump. And this is a, if I remember correctly, I did take a photo of the sign. But I think this was a Polworth nylon blend for socks. So that will be spun up to be socks as well. So that's all the fibre, which is actually far more than I was expecting to purchase. But you know what? It's all beautiful and it will all become something lovely. You can't quite see it because I have the camera angled so you can't actually see the table. But there is like a mountain of fibre in front of me. But... I don't care because I will enjoy it. I will well, spin well, it up and I will knit. That. Yes, thank you. You can put that one there. Do you want to show mom, show everyone some yarn? Yeah. All right. I'll move the bag of yarn over here, and you can reach in and grab stuff. Oh, okay. So this bundle of stuff that I picked up from Suffolk Socks, the lovely Julie. She had her stand there. And I picked up three skeins of sock yarn from her. So I picked up two skeins of the Regia Perfect. Okay, thank you. One is this sort of like Christmassy colours. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see those. It's kind of like Christmassy farewell effect. Like this is one of the Arnie and Carlos ones. And then I picked up the. Can you show that one? The Perfect in the rainbow colours. If Layla will show that to the camera. And I picked up a skein of this self striping um, Mondim sock yarn as well, which I've never tried this blend of sock yarn, so I thought that'd be quite fun. Um, it's colour number 210. The colour for this one is 9136, and the colour for that one is 1736 for the rainbow one. Can you show that to the camera? <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Put it on your hand. Put it on now. Yeah, you stuck you stuck your hand in the label. Chuck. You yeah, it's okay. There you go. Yeah, this is the red. That's the rainbow. Red, you perfect. And oh my! This one. Which one? Oh, and I picked this up from Felt Fusion, and this was her Diagon Alley colorway. <laughs> I really loved it and I like the reference. What oh, happened? Oh, oh, it's okay. I picked up these two uh, skeins of 50 grams of mohair um, to that? use for spinning. Either it's like a fine thread or. 
You gonna get down? Yep. Okay. Um, either as a plying thread or as like a core thread or something. They were relatively inexpensive and I can't actually remember the name of the stall that I picked them up from. There was no labels or anything on them. Um, so I picked these up to play around with when spinning. Oh, you grab more yarn? Okay, so this last bundle of yarn that Layla's holding up is from the wool barn. And this was a generous um, yarn support from Maya. I saw these colours together. She had them laid out like this on her table. And I was like, these four colours go so well together. This would be perfect for like a, a multicoloured project. And she was like, that sounds like a really good idea. Anyway, so I saw her quite, at, quite near the beginning. And Yeah, you found something else? And I... Um, was wandering around the whole place and towards the end of the day I just couldn't get this colour combination out of my head. So I went back and I spoke with Maya about my ideas and she said that she really liked it so she was like grab what you need. So I did and I grabbed these four so these are going to become a really fun project at some point. So the colourways, so this one is walnut, this one is toffee, this one is pecan, and this one is Hunter. Yeah. And these are all on the on her sorry MCN base. The Super Wash Extra Fine Merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, 350 meters or 383 yards in 100 grams. This is quite a plump fingering weight. I'd say this is even virgin on sport weight. Anyway, so like I was saying, camera cut off. <laughs> this is a really fun uh, color combination. I can't wait to get these on the needles at some point soon. And Layla's showing you a small bottle of Euclid wool wash, which I also picked up from Maya. No, bottle. It's not a bottle, it's a lid. 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 Bottle lid. Also yes, camera. You showed camera, good job. Are we finished? No. No, what else have we got to show them? I think we've shown them everything. What do you think? Nice. Do you like everything? Yeah, you like the rainbow? And the red one? Can you hold that one up? Is that your favorite? realized I didn't close out the um, haul so thank you so much for watching that I hope later wasn't too distracting I've got a little Derek here keeping me company there he is can you say hello Derek <laughs> oh bless um, all right so I will catch you guys in the next video all right take care bye